This is making me excited, folks. This is very exciting. I'm a little crunchy over here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it down. Uh, folks, we're gonna get started in just a second here. Oh, with some uh, some fine quality broadcasting coming at you. Stretch it out. Get ready. Oh boy, uh, the week the week continues. Happy August to everybody out there. Just settling in right here. Everybody's. Uh, Dan's taking some notes. Um, we're we're going to move in a second. This beat has got me funky. I don't know about you, but boy, this is, this is just some, this is some funk, I guess. Actually, there's nothing funky about this. Uh, and um, so I'm going to fade it to black. The, the funk is done. Bring Bring the funk. So oh, how, that music, that's, that's just still going. Is that good? Should I stop that? No. Yeah. Hit the, hit the button that stops the music. I think it's going to go back to the thing. That's not music. That's beeping. No, nope, this. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Now it's stopped. Thanks, Dan. You're always fixing the fixer. That's me. I'm the fixer. How good is it going to be, Mike, when, uh, when Apollo Creed's son and or best friend have to talk to Ivan Drago all these years later and see where he's at? Like, has he... First of all, what do you think Drago is going to be like? Do you think he's going to be remorseful and he's going to understand that he was used by the Soviet Union? Or do I you... hope not. I hope he's just still... Stone cold fucking murder. Out of his mind, wants to kill Creed. You know he's still with uh, Bridget Nielsen. Really? Yeah, they're married. And that's uh, that's Victor's mother, is oh, Bridget Nielsen. Okay. So she's going to be in it. So there's some there's like extra uh, stuff on top of the, the whole Apollo Creed Ivan showdown already. Yeah. I mean, this is literally like a sequel to Rocky IV. You realize yeah. that, right? Which is the best movie ever made. Close. It probably probably is. Number four. What's better? What's better? Uh, Die Hard's close. Uh, Terminator 2 is better than Eternal Die Hard. Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind. <laughs> <laughs> like that and Rocky IV are comparable They're too films. similar, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you hadn't seen Terminator 2 until you were an intern at Game Informer. Yeah, I was 21. So, yeah, I was... Aghast at that. Well, that, that's the anecdote is I went from like seeing bits and pieces of it, not really seeing it, to yes. uh, befriending you and seeing it six times in one week. <laughs> and that's not okay. So that is an exaggeration. It was six uh, times in two weeks. It was two times in one night. Yes. Because we watched the entirety of the two and a half hour Terminator 2. Well, I, I think one of us passed out halfway through, so we had to restart it. That was Tim. I think Tim uh, passed out and we went to the Vegas Lounge without him. Yeah. Yeah. And then we came back. Tim was still asleep on the couch and we just put on Terminator 2 again and watched the entire movie again. Yeah. It was. I, I, uh, there's layers to it. It's so a good I, movie, yeah, but yeah. it's real long. It's yeah, real long. I know, but it's fucking cool. Like, I think we spent the whole time at the bar talking about how cool it was. Yeah. And then we came back drunker and hyped up over how yeah. cool Terminator 2 was, and we watched the whole thing again. Well, was that we the played night that you got all the Wind too. Well, I mean, we if played you, Wind Waker. I mean, if you want to, yeah, I mean, if you, if you want to, all right, guys, we're going to come up quickly. for the, uh, we're going to come up for the pre show in, oh, uh, uh -huh. three. Oh, okay. Two. Okay. Uh, one. Hi, everyone. Is this a pre show? Yeah, this is a pre-show. This is a pre-show? Mm -hmm. We weren't already on the pre-show? What's the pre-show? This is the pre-show. What's the pre-show? the pre-show. Okay. So you saw T2 six mm -hmm. times in a week. Have you seen the other one?